Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CO of the USS Zhangha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn Hegemony are terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marble. Feel free to join the party. Transporter room to bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. During missions, you can select the members of your away team from the away team selection screen. There you are. Better late than never, huh? Ensign Skavron, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. To say this place is mineral-rich would be an understatement. showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. This looks like a good place to start our scans. Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. 
Apparently, the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. My readings indicate there might be dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be sure. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. Either my tricorp is broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. Water fire? We'd better head back to... Whoa! The mortars have closed off the pass! We can't reach the camp! Who would do this? Look! Over there! It's the Gorn! Over there, there might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. Once it's down, we can walk across it and get back to camp before the Gorn use the Zhang Ha's science team as target practice. Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me, but they'll get results. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. We are going to need at least three bamboo containers, sulfur, potassium nitrate, and coal. Behind us! Thank you. 
Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we work. Hope you're a good shot. Well, at least the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us! Crush that coal up good, Hunter! Not like that! Finer! Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials! Now, mix it with the coal. Carefully! I'd rather not get blown to pieces today, if you don't mind. We're just about done! in place. The bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. some time before our engines are back online. We're picking up Gorn warp signatures on our long-range sensors here.
Thanks for covering us. The Gorn would have made short work of my ship otherwise. I owe you one. Slow, but steady. Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Thanks. I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. It could be nothing. Sending it now. I'd start with the debris of the Gorn ship that was destroyed. There might be a clue there. aren't as tough as a Tellarite design, but our scaly friends know a thing or two about hull plating. Whoever fired this shot knew exactly where to hit them. Not with the data we have now, but the science team just found another strange energy reading nearby. I'm sure of it. There's more bad news. The Gorn are coming back. Weapons hot. Orders. It's the same ship as before. Doesn't look like they're back at full strength, though. <laughs> This space equally, Federation. Your unprovoked act of aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. Do you think me a fool, Captain? Most convenient, Captain. But I am unconvinced. Produce these Romulans that you claim destroyed our ship, or prepare to pay for your crimes. Captain, I've got an idea. If we could generate a charged particle burst, we might overload their cloak. Thank <laughs> you. 
The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today, and your assistance in exposing it. I propose we continue our joint surveys of Edrin IV under a mutual non-aggression pact. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon, but we'll be back to finish our work here, along with the Gorn, I'll wager. I think the Romulans will take a pass, though. Good to hear from you. I've read Captain McKinnon's report. Sounds like things got a little rough on Edrin IV. Still, the Diplomatic Corps thinks your actions will make a difference in future talks with the Gorn. Well done. Stay Congratulations, safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Starfleet hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the Quadrant and the brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways fast. Skills will increase. Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space and ground combat. Select any skill to see a full description of the benefits gained by purchasing it. Every skill costs one point of the same type to purchase. You will earn one space point every one level and one ground point. Reaching each milestone will unlock additional bonuses or bridge officer training manual recipes. Powerful abilities can be earned.
Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Neuroparasites, a life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Den of a Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected. The better to render them fit for infestation. To Matt, and while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed turtles are back with a vengeance. Ah, uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room, down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites.
be able to gain useful knowledge by scanning one of the effects. Creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on this station within the last 4.2 hours. Auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The biosigns match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Hi there. It's good to ah, see you. Very nice. nice. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. But you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty bugs out properly. While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas.
Remember, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. I'll have this fixed up straight away. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. This one just needs new fuses. There we are, good as new. Enemy target on Looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. Send a squad to kill the Federation vermin! This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far, just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. 
Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. And neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. Transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. This is Captain Seralt of the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. That did it come. Looks like everyone's coming around. The parasites are gone. This is Captain Ford, the USS Marmaton. What... what happened? What's going on? Parasites? What... Okay, sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. Something's wrong. We're not doing any damage. Ptolemy has been destroyed. They have some kind of temporal shielding. Temporal shielding? Never heard of it. But maybe a modulus I have to destroy. back to wherever they came from. Aye, uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. The feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate, immediately! a right bumpy ride.
still before that portal blows. There's doors! I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive. In another time. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites. Time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute, and I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station, just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. Stay safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. We have a problem at Babel. Cord and Rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage, and they're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Cordon sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. 